We'll start with an example of synchronous machine where uh, the question is like uh, three phase star connected question is like a three phase star connected 400 volt synchronous motor takes a load of uh, 52.5 ampere at a power factor of 0.8 lead. <clears throat> we have to calculate the power supplied and the induced EMF. <clears throat> Uh, that the motor impedance per phase is 0.25 plus J 3.2 ohms. So, in this question, we have to find the power first of all, then the EMF per phase. How to start with this question? In this question, we have to first of all find the power. And since uh, it's a three phase star connected 440 volts machine, synchronous motor, which is working at synchronous motor is working at 52.5 amperes and 0.8 in power factor so uh, directly we can find the power that is power supply will be equals to vi cos pi or since it's a 3 phase motor so under root of 3 will come By putting the values, we can get under root of 3 into V is 440 into the current that is 52.5 amperes into the cos phi which is 0.8 that is equals to 29.1 kilowatts. Now, this was the thing, but now we have to find the <coughs> E per phase. So, for that, first of all, we have to find the ZS. We have to calculate this thing ZS and uh, by the triangle of synchronous, we can know that this thing, that we know this thing, that we be EP is the angle and this is suppose phi this is theta and this is the time i so by this we can find Induce EMF per phase that is equals to under root of EP square plus of EP square or IZ square plus or minus of 2 into VP to uh, IZ square that is the voltage drop square multiplied by the cos of 180 minus theta. Here for that, first of all. I have to find the Z. The Z will be equal to 
the since this is in right now in rectangle, I have to convert it into the magnitude form that is by solving the magnitude 3.21 ohms we found that 0.25 square plus of 3.2 square under root full will be giving me z is equals to 3.21 ohms. Therefore, I can find the impedance angle that is the beta. Beta would be 3.2 divided by my 2.5 tan inverse of 3.2 divided by 2.5 which will come approximately as tan inverse of 12.8 that is 85 point tan inverse of 80, tan inverse of 12.8 8, which is equals to 85.93 degrees. So I got beta now. I can find the theta also. Theta is equals to tan inverse of my cos phi that is theta 0.8, which is equals to 100. Sorry. 38.66 degrees. So, the angle which we have shown this was beta and this was theta, this was VP, this was EP. So, beta plus theta would be 124.9. So, beta plus theta would be equal to 124.9 why I have beta plus theta because it is a leading component but of this beta plus theta will come if this be, if it is a lagging current then it would be coming here somewhat so I have to subtract that beta minus theta so remember this thing whether beta plus theta is to be done or beta minus theta is to be done if it is a lead then beta plus theta will come if it is a lag beta minus theta will come. So, here, since I got z is equals to 3.21, I can find the iz drop, that is i into z is drop would come approximately as 52.5 is my current and z is 3.21. So, 52.5 multiplied by 3.21 would give me 168.5 volts. 168.5 volts. So I got beta, I got theta, beta plus theta I got as 124.9, iz as 168.5. So by the formula, uh, <coughs> E per phase is equals to under root of vp square plus i into z square minus of 2 into vp multiplied by i into z s into cos 180 minus beta plus theta everything is in the under root part vp square plus iz square minus of 2 vp into iz into cos of 180 minus beta plus theta from this i can get e per phase so i can solve this thing everything will come under root vp square i know vp is 440 plus i into z drop i got at 168.5 minus of 2 multiplied by Vp is 440 again into Iz is 168.5 into cos of 180 minus 
1.34.9. By solving this, I can get E as uh, one thing which we have not uh, we, ha we have not included. Excuse me, sorry for that. This is 440 volts for three phase. So I have to convert since this is I am asking about the E per phase. So I have to convert this thing into E uh, V per phase first of all. This is the V and right now given. So I have to convert it into V per phase. So that will be 440 divided by 100 plus 3 that is equals 230 volts. So here this will not be 440. This will not be 440. This would be 230. Here it would be 230. This is one of the uh, biggest reason that uh, even though some persons know the formula, some person know the tactic of the uh, question, but uh, person normally get the wrong answer because of the reason that they are not converting these small small things. Uh, which will give, will, which will be actually giving the accurate answer. So uh, this is called as a human error. So please try to uh, remove these human errors. Uh, it will benefit you in the examination. So by solving this, I can get EP per phase is equal to one hundred and ninety-four point. 5 volts and if I need to find the uh, EL I can have EL is equal to 100 root of 3 multiplied by 194.525 which will be giving me EL is equal to 336.45 volts so, in this question, only two things were but, uh, very much important to understand. Uh, this was the universal formula which is normally being used in any you know, synchronous motor E per phase question. So, this is very important. Please remember this formula. Uh, learn by the heart this formula. Normally, this is very uh, normal questions you can be solved by this formula. Another thing is that when it is leading, it is beta plus theta, and it is lagging, it is beta minus theta. Apart from that, nothing is more uh, complicated in this question. Uh, this is the answer that is 36 part, uh, 336.4 volts.